So I received a request to explain automatic versus manual and how cars with these different types of transmissions are different. So I'm going to start off with the layout. In an automatic car you're going to have the engine which will be connected to a torque converter which will be connected to a transmission. Uh, so that's how it's going to pass through. Now I've attached a video of a torque converter if you don't know how that works. That's a pretty important part of an automatic transmission. Um, whereas in a manual you're going to have an engine which is connected to a clutch which will press against uh, both the engine and transmission uh, it'll lie between them and so the, the transmission will be spinning at, at the speed um, that your wheels are spinning and then your engine will be spinning at whatever speed that is and this clutch will help match these two together whereas a torque converter they can be at different speeds the engine and the transmission uh, so a automatic is going to have one set of gears or possibly, well, most will have two sets of planetary gears, whereas a manual will have multiple sets of gears to choose from. You'll have a gear shift and a clutch, a third pedal, and you can choose between the different gears. Whereas in an automatic, the car itself will do it for you. Computers will do it uh, based on your engine speed and how fast you're going. So there will not be a clutch and there will not be a gear shift, um, so to speak, that you get one, two, three, four, five, reverse. Uh, so what it looks like inside of an automatic gear is you're going to have these planetary gears. So just a little for terminology-wise, there's the sun gear, which is in the center. You're going to have ring gears, which are connected to the sun gear, or planet gears, which are connected to the sun gear. And then around all of it, you're going to have a ring gear. And there's going to be a carrier that holds the planets a certain distance from each other. Now in a planetary gearbox, you can change through a system of clutches and, and belts. You can change which one is driven and which one is driving. So for example, you can have the engine driving the sun gear and then the output going to the wheels on the ring gear. Or you can reverse it. You can have... Uh, the engine driving the ring gear and then the output going from the sun gear and by manipulating which one's driven and which one's driving you can change gear ratios so if you have two of these back to back you can have four sets of forward gears and a reverse gear so for example how a reverse gear might work is you'll have your input going to the sun gear in the middle here so that'll be rotating clockwise then you'll have these uh, planet gears and they're going to be fixed. You're going to hold the carrier in place with a clutch that, that doesn't allow that to move. So as that rotates this direction, the ring gear is going to rotate another direction. You can think of it kind of like this. If, if my hand here is the sun gear and it's going to go this direction, then my other hand will be the ring gear. So as my hand goes this direction, this turns this direction and causes this to move back. So it goes the opposite direction. That will be connected to your transmission, going back to your wheels, and so you'll go backwards rather than forwards. Now with a manual, so once again you're going to have multiple sets of gears to choose from and it's going to work a little differently. You're actually going to put yourself in a different gear ratio. So you're going to have your engine here and connected to the end of that uh, is going to be a gear and this gear is going to be connected to a shaft here and this shaft is pretty much going to always be spinning at the engine speed so whatever speed this is rotating at this is going to rotate in the opposite direction now this is going to be connected to your gears so for example we can call this one first gear this green gear right here and this gear right here second gear. Now what happens is these two gears are always going to be rotating and they're going to be rotating on your transmission shaft around it. So here's the transmission or your output shaft, sorry. Uh, so this is going to go to your differential, to your tires, uh, to drive them. So you're, what you're going to do is Remember, these are always going to be rotating at your engine speed. And so you're going to press in your clutch, and that's going to put
pull the transmission away from the engine so they're not no longer connected. And then what you're gonna be able to do is you either select first or second here. So you'll push the gear and it'll move this in contact. So this right here is called a collar and it's got what they call dog gears on it. So as you shift into a gear, it will connect to either this first gear or the second gear. Say this has a ratio of 2.5 to 1. Um, so you'll connect these this dog gear so it'll connect here and then your wheels will rotate at the same rate as, as whatever gear ratio you have matched to the engine. So when you do shift and you hear that grinding noise, it's not actually gear teeth uh, not meshing correctly together. It's, it's really this dog gear and you're trying to, to match its speed and the speeds aren't the same so you get that uh, uh, sound. So anyway, so that's how that works. Um, now you're going to have forward and reverse gears. So this is just a little drawing to help explain how that happens. Um, you've got your engine coming here. So this is going to be rotating in this direction. Then you're going to have this shaft here down at the bottom. So that's going to be rotating the opposite direction. So that gear is going to rotate the opposite direction. So your output shaft is going to go in the same direction as your engine shaft. So that means your car is going to be going forward. Now put it in reverse, you're going to have the same thing where the engines going the same direction. You've got the same shaft, but in between the final gear and the uh, output gear, you're going to have an idle gear. And what this is going to do is change the direction. So going this direction, then it turns, same direction there. This idle gear is going to turn that around, and so then your output shaft is going to be rotating the reverse direction as your engine, so you're going to be moving backwards. Now, if you ever try to put your car into reverse while you're moving forwards, you're not going to be able to, because you have to remember that these are always going to be rotating in the direction of the engine. So if, if you're moving forward and this is moving the, the direction, um, this is moving in a forward direction, and then your reverse shaft is going to be going the opposite direction, it's going to clash. No matter what, you're not going to be able to get those in. So that's how an automatic differs from a manual. Um, and there are added benefits for each. Uh, manuals you used to be able to get better mileage with because of the losses in the torque converter, but now they're pretty much even. Um, personally, I think manuals are more fun to drive. You get a little more hands-on feel and it's, it's a better experience in my opinion. Uh, auto, automatic is just kind of mindless. You don't really have to do anything. You just press the gas and everything's done for you.